flash flood warning is still in effect for Susquehanna and Broome counties. Heavy rains forced Kirkwood officials to even close Main Street at Route 11. As you can see from this video, the road flooded under the railroad tracks. It's estimated there's five to six inches of water. No word yet the area will be back open. Stick with us on air and online as more information becomes available. In Delaware County, officials issued a state of emergency for the town of Hancock due to Bear Brook Dam. A state of emergency has been extended in Broome County and a new travel order is in effect as this storm system continues to roll in. Plus, the last 24 hours forces a mandatory evacuation for residents in Conklin, with several people rescued from their homes. Fox 40 News at 10 starts now. Are you guys all right? Yeah. Okay. We're good, what, thank what you. Happened? What happened? Lots of water. Conklin rescue crews said by the time they learned a group was trapped in a barn on Snake Creek, they had been inside for hours. We have four people trapped in a barn. We're going down to get them shortly. Airboats hit the water shortly after 10. One of those rescued flood victims was Alex Burrow's uncle, who ended up getting stuck while trying to help those four people in the barn. He went out on the tractor to try to get them and the tractor died, so he was stuck on the roof of the tractor. That really far tree line you see behind me, that's where Choconut Creek usually is. But you can see it spilled over the banks into Richards Avenue Park and up the street. The bottom of this house is full. That guy there just flipped that house. That was totally wrecked. The house next to it was wrecked last year. Also in Vessel, Governor Cuomo paying a visit after declaring a state of emergency for the region, making it easier for local governments to tap into state resources. We need to move uh, equipment from one part of the state to the other part of the state. Uh, if we need private sector help, if we have to get a contracting company, an excavating company to bring in heavy equipment, uh, it gives us the flexibility to do that. Tonight we begin with continuing coverage of yesterday's flash flooding. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Negretti. Cleanup begins as roaring waters swept through the southern tier. On Binghamton's east side, the water left behind thick layers of mud. The creek uh, plugged up and uh, water came over the street instead of under. This is the result. Mud everywhere on the road, inside businesses. We've got about two foot of water in the front of the store and about four inches of mud. A lot of um, my customers and family, friends are, came down to help. Now when you just look at it, it really doesn't look all that deep, but then you step into it. This is what the businesses are trying to shovel out. Just trying to uh, wash it out and salvage what we can. On Mason Avenue, Raymond Warner is pushing mud away from his daughter's house, which also took on water in the basement. You can see it on the road. We had five foot of water in the basement. So the road's still like that. Just trying to clean it up. Crews are also cleaning up the aftermath in Kirkwood. This bridge in the park across from Town Hall has withstood plenty of floods through the years, but not this one. We have continuing coverage on the flood waters that wreaked havoc in the southern tier this week. In Kirkwood, underwater recovery teams were able to pull out a truck that was swept into the Susquehanna River. Fox 40's Bree Party spoke to Heiner Road residents who say they've been essentially cut off by an indefinite road closure. That's right, Devin. The August 14th storm washed out a large portion of Heiner Road, making it impassable. Now that road is the only access in and out of the dead-end street for the 10 homeowners living there. Uh, our only means in and out of here is through a private driveway. A state of emergency remains in effect in Tioga County after today's flash flooding across the southern tier shuts down schools and closes roadways. That state of emergency went into effect at 6 a.m. as creeks overflowed and runoffs made several roads impassable, including this underpass on North Avenue in Owego. The no unnecessary travel ban has been lifted, but there are still road closures throughout the county. I'm on Pollard Hill Road where you can see the water still rushing down Nanticoke Creek. It was creek overflow like this that caused the bulk of the issues in Maine. The water came up fast and receded fast. This truck that tried to get through the flooded out Nanticoke Ave is a good reference point for just how deep that water got. Well, you can see the license plate on this truck got bent up. So the water was up that high. It makes your heart to 
watch people coming out of their homes and they got their kids in pajamas and it's raining and they're waiting in water up to their waist. 